Now Viviani's going to have to do it on his lonesome, I'm afraid. He's been squeezed out. It's not going to be Viviani, I don't think. Madonna and Kimalai come into the frame. Bernati now finds himself where he doesn't want to be out front. And there's Peter Sagan also stalking. Viviani's still in the frame. He gets onto the back wheel of Oss. There's Bernati as well. And Gardini, they're all there. And now it suddenly opens up. They get a few, clear view of the finish line. Oss goes for it. There is a Viviani just on his back wheel. Bernati can't stay with him. And here comes Gardini doing the same again. Goes wide. Sagan stays in touch, Sagan comes through the middle, Sagan the world champion, oh I think that is going to have to go to a photo, Viviani thinks he's got it, Sagan came extraordinarily close there and Gardini making up the podium, well who is it, Sagan or Viviani, Viviani believes he has taken it at the line, well what about that, terrific push, Viviani thought he mistimed it, wow, Sagan lunged as well, beaten by Viviani at the very last. Oh, Rifle still keeping it sensible. He's not going for it just yet. He's got to be careful. He doesn't get caught out. Ferrari and Modolo, I think it is. They're just opening up right now. They're reaching out. Matthews goes for it as well. Trekking ball with Dottolo. And they're spreading wide. And here comes the gorilla. The Rifle is the take centre stage. Can anybody stay with him? He's a powerful man. Will he be a rich man at the end of today? We'll see. He hits the barriers. He starts to run out of steam. Supreme. Un grande spettacolo con Elia Viviani. Intanto l'applauso per tutti gli atleti, per tutti i corridori che vanno a tagliare. Three team Sky Riders trying and set things up now for a stage win, possibly for Elia Viviani or Ben Swift. Tinkoff are there with two riders, Maluena Boare just setting things up for, I think it's Daniele Benati. Is it Bernati who's going to win? Tinkoff really handily placed, leading their man out all the way to the line. And it's Bernati, I think, who opens it up. Tinkoff take the win, but they're challenged all the way to the line now by Team Sky. Team Sky battling to the front. I think it's Viviani trying to get to the line. Viviani takes the win for Team Sky. Today, once again, this is a stage and a race that he loves. Viviani reading that, judging that to perfection. His lead out to was perfect. Tinkoff Saxo with two riders made it very, very difficult for him. Just behind him, door waits. Then it's Elia Viviani. Schwarzman is the man who's going to try and be launched for Border Hansgrohe. On the left-hand side, you can see Lee he just out of position. Also the yellow jersey, way out of position, about 15th wheel down. He's going to have to move up if he's going to be involved. Now on the front, it's Moscorn who has a go for Sky. On the right-hand side, Colbrelli is following the wheels. Also there, looking for things on the right-hand side, Lobato now, the Spanish. On the right hand side, two coming up and around. It's uh, a really big attack, and it's going to be a real good go from Edmondson. I think who's going to have it? Edmondson is out there. It's Viviani who's chasing. Edmondson's really gone through with 150 meters to go, but here comes Viviani on his wheel. Is Schwarzman also it's not Bradley. If the Italians go, it's Viviani who has it. Sky who take the win. Perfectly done by Chris Froome with a kilometer to go. Then it was Moscon. Dual did it too. And even though there was chaos in the final 200 meters with Alexander Edmondson attacking. A wine duel now takes over on the front here. Elia Viviani is on the wheel with Roger Kluger, the teammate of our green jersey, Caleb Ewan, Mark Renshaw, trying to bring Ed Val Bloesenhagen up towards the front. Remember, you're watching out for that wiggle points jersey of Bloesenhagen. Caleb Ewan gets in onto the wheel, but perfectly here. Out of that corner there for Dimension Data. Bloesenhagen is there. Viviani, Caleb Ewan, Alexander Kristoff, Dylan Grunewagen and Fernando Gaviria. It's Mark Renshaw on the front, Grunewagen moves out in the black and yellow for Lotto Jumbo, but Boysenhagen now opens up the sprint, Viviani does the same down the right hand side of your picture, Boysenhagen comes through, Gaviria through the centre, Boysenhagen holds the power there, Fernando Gaviria just, you can see they're just gesturing slightly to Edval Boysenhagen in that sprint. You know, if anything uh, in the past, I've had a little bit of uh, criticism for uh, Boston Hagen for not being aggressive enough. I think he was aggressive enough here. Look, he's got his head down, he does drift over, but I still think there was uh, enough there uh, for uh, Viviani to come through. And a little bit of bumping and bruising as Magnus Court Nielsen in the red jersey comes up using the lead out 
of the race leader, Dylan Grunewagen. Timo Rosen is looking round for the blue jersey, can't see him at the moment. John Dagenkopp now, right on the wheel of Jakob Moretzko. Christoph Moretzko, Dagenkopp, where's Viviani? There's Mark Cavendish too in the mix this time. It's going to be Jakob Moretzko though, is it? Can he hold on? Long way out, no. The advantage switches to the middle and there's Elia Viviani now. Now he's on the front. Viviani challenged by Grunewagen. It's tight again. Viviani with his air and in the air. He thinks he's got it, I'm sure he has. They celebrate with quick step fours. Grunewagen was close and that was a thriller, Rob Hales. Elia Viviani has made it through that crash. He's got Sabatini working with him. Can't see Mark Cavendish at the moment. Comprelli is still there. There is Kittle. Kittle has got a, a little bit of uh, room to make up, and he's not going to be sprinting from there. He gives up. It's all about Eric Zabel now. And Zabel does battle with Viviani. Viviani takes the win. Blythe is close, but Viviani seals the deal with another win here at the Dubai Tour. Make no doubt about that. It's all been about Elia Viviani and quick step floors as they seal not only the victory on stage five but the overall win. Greipel battling for position but he's out of it too as Van Poppel led out by Wagner. It's Wagner on the front now and Pascal Ackermann opens up his sprint. Germany against the Netherlands. Pascal Ackermann battles his way to the line. Rudy Barbier, Rudy Barbier in the frame too. It's going to be Ackermann or is it no? Right at the death. Elia Viviani gets there. He came from nowhere. But Viviani claims a brilliant victory on stage two. The Yaz Island stage goes to quick step floors and goes to a man in the form of his life. Elia Viviani does it once again. Man, did he leave it late. Ewan's nowhere on this occasion. Look at Halverson from Team Sky growing into this race. But it's all about Ackerman, Bauhaus, and look at the lunge for the line from Danny Van Poppel. But in the end, I think you're going to find out that that margin of victory from Viviani was relatively comfortable. Ilya Viviani is on the left hand side. A wonderful lead out here. Sasha Modlo, second wheel. When is Modlo going to open things up? Viviani is way back down the order. And just coming up the left hand side is Jakob Moresco. Moresco goes. Viviani is on his wheel. Jakob Moresco. Moresco goes by Italy, Viviani on the right hand side for quick step fourth, what a finale this is, Viviani on the right, Viviani takes the opening road stage, Hard for Giro d'Italia, what a win for Eli Viviani, his second win in the Giro d'Italia, Operation Quick Step Floors is go. Morkov swings right, Tim Velez is the rider that opens things up, and now on the right hand side it is the Stiglerman jersey, it is Sam Bennett opening things up, who is going to have the final kick in, Moresco there, Across. He knows Viviani's coming up, and there's that barrier that just comes out. Modolo there in the pink, can't quite get there. And just on the left-hand side, it's a bigger tap. I think this is Jupa. Jupa is going clear. Well, what a move this is. You get Jupo was part of the breakaway earlier on. It looks as if he is going clear. Stolen a bit of a march, one kilometre to go. This is a phenomenal ride by the rider from William Trestina. I think it is you get Jupo who's going clear. We'll get confirmation of that in a minute. Has he stolen a march? Fantastic ride here. And now it is Visconti goes to the front for Barre Merida looking after Visconti, but a good lead here by the rider from William Triestina. We'll get a close look at who that is in a moment, but this is a wonderful ride. Fighting all the way to the line. Well, he's stolen a march on the vast majority of the sprinters here. He's still got a couple of hundred meters here, fighting all the way to the line. What a wonderful ride here by the rider from Agroni Giocattoli. 400 meters to go. He looks like he's got this in the bag. Well, it is a sprint now on the right-hand side. Has he got enough in the tank now? Well, this is a superb performance by the rider. Big upturn on the cars there, but now on the inside, Mordolo goes. It is also in the centre of your screen. Mordolo goes, Viviani, Mordolo, and also in Daly Van Poppel as well. San Viviani goes in the centre of the screen. There's a stick of a journey. Viviani reigns supreme. A hat-trick for the Italian. Wow, what can you say there, Viviani? got absolutely everything out of that sprint. I was wondering how much he would have benefited from not actually having to fight it out with the rest of them yesterday. He got it right today, didn't he? They sat back, they waited. He found that position on the road. He got himself through.
The final lead out rider is there for Elia Viviani as well. Viviani in third position. Ryan Gibbons is there. Moldolo also as well. This is going to be an absolute thrill. They're around that final bend. This little chicane, Stebo is in poor position. He's got Sabatini and Shackman. I think it is on his wheel as well. It is Sabatini. The opening things up now. Quick step. Danny Van Poppel is on the wheel. Gibbons is there as well as Christian Sparagli. This is going to be a fascinating finale. It is Danny Van Poppel waiting, waiting. Van Poppel goes on the right hand side into the headwind. Viviani straight into his fist lean. Christian Sparagli put a Fazio also there. And it is Elliot Viviani emerges in the centre. Viviani takes it all oh, very, very close. Viviani, victory number four for Quick Step. Left it late, but takes it. What a chaotic finish that was. No doubt about your winner, Elia Viviani. The sprint is starting. The first to go, down MP. He just boxes in Caleb Ewan. It's now Morkov. Viviani is waiting. Rubbing shoulders is Caleb Ewan. Viviani opens up with the Italian champion. Ewan is challenging, but it is. Italian champion waited patiently and he delivers again. Well, the big pre-race favourite has got the job done. His team did an incredible amount of work to keep it all together. Morkov providing the lead out and Caleb Ewan boxed in for long enough and Viviani oh so...